Sunshine Cathedral Food Ministry given award by Salvation Army. The Salvation Army has a long history of anti-LGBTQ plus stances and policies. They have fought to be able to circumvent laws that block churches from discriminating against LGBTQ plus individuals. Their shelters and recovery facilities have repeatedly been investigated for denying access to LGB and especially the T transgender individuals. The evangelical organization has been at continued odds with the LGBTQ plus community, and that's why many were surprised when Sunshine Cathedral, the world's largest queer church, was recently given the Community Hero of the Year Award. The award was presented to the food ministry team and was accepted by Reverend Ann Atwell, the special events and community events coordinator for the local Salvation Army ministry, Robert Beasley, appeared at Sunshine Cathedral yesterday to speak at their Sunday service about how an organization that has traditionally not been queer friendly ended up partnering with a queer church. Beasley explained how happy he was to work with the LGBTQ plus community, which he stated was his community as well. He told the story of how the Salvation Army food pantry had fallen on hard times during the pandemic and how food donations were difficult to get. He said that the group's PR team reached out to several organizations in the area, and it was only Sunshine Cathedral who responded. Beasley said of Sunshine, and I quote, You not only say it, you mean it. When you say it, you will support the community. You not only talk the talk, you walk the walk. You all, and they have some great, great programs and initiatives uh, that they have activated in the community throughout the course of the year. And I met with um, the pastors, and they are awesome. So on behalf of the Salvation Army, uh, we proudly recognize the Sunshine Cathedral as our Community Hero of the Year uh, partner. Thank you for your support, and keep doing the great work that you're doing today. So here goes. <laughs> I, that video was really pretty to watch. Um, you know, like there's, I have a lot of thoughts on this and I'm sure we all do. I have lots of thoughts on everything. I'm, she's talkative, <laughs> me, me. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say she is? I did too. Is that your pronoun? That's, that's a lot, right now, a little yep. Latina takeover tonight. Mm -hmm. And like, <laughs> you know what it is? It's, I, I think we always had to make room for people to grow. And like, mm -hmm. I, I find it very difficult sometimes when we kind of draw this line and we're like, that's it. We Forever. feel a certain way and, and not allow. What I do want us to be cautious about, right, is that there are, this is not just lip service, right, or it's not just some kind of veneer that we put on what could often be very clearly anti-LGBTQ policy, right? This doesn't fix things, right? But that is if there is structural change within an organization that seeks to make um, make amends, right, yeah. then I'm all for it. Like, we have to be able to say, hey, people, we, we changed our minds, right? It's kind of like the, I hate it when people are like, talk about politicians, like, oh, they're wishy-washy or they're, they're flip-floppers or whatever. People are learned and they change their minds. And that is, I think we have to make room for that. But right? this, this gives people hope. It yeah. gives people hope that even those hateful people can change or yeah. can maybe educate themselves. Like during Christmas time, when I see them ringing that bell with that big red pot, I always want to give them a finger, you know, or throw a rock in there. You know what I mean? And sometimes I do throw a rock in there. And now this gives me hope yeah. that maybe not the whole entire organization is like that. Yeah. Maybe they can evolve to a place where they can, you know, treat our community better. Right. As Gomer yeah. Pyle would say, surprise, surprise, surprise. Yeah. And then add to that, there was that, just that touching kind of coming out, his story, yeah. Beasley's story. It was really, it was a nice, a nice thing. It was nice to see that. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, 2014, I believe it was, in Sarasota, um, uh, Chuck, uh, my, uh, my husband, uh, helped organize a, um, a food um, program on the sidewalk at the Salvation Army in downtown Sarasota. And we had quite a large contingent of LGBT um, that were participating um, uh, with Chuck. And it was something he wanted to do in terms of helping uh, in, in providing food. And you could get a plate of food and various different kinds of things. And the director of the Salvation Army uh, came out of the building and said, please remove this off of our property. And um, of course, you know me, I said, make us. Right. And I said, please call the police, 
because I would like to make sure that we film this as you remove these LGBT off the Salvation Army sidewalk in front of the Salvation Army. Police came, policeman, uh, car pulls in, a uh, patrol car across the street, walks up to us, what, you know, what's going on here? We're feeding people and they don't like it because we're queer. And he goes, oh, okay, um, well, uh, please don't step off the sidewalk and I'll sit in the car until y'all are all finished and I'll stay here. And okay. it, was a, it was a memory of the Salvation Army uh, had a particular bent. Yeah. This news is fabulous, in my opinion, mm. because Sunshine Cathedral, the world's largest queer church, is the Salvation Army's community hero of the year. In 2014, that was an impossibility. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Impossible. Mm. And I, I'm so moved by what you said. Uh, the benefit of the doubt of the possibility of change yeah. is powerful words. I always remind my friends that sometimes we are so absolutist in the LGBTQ community. It's all or nothing. That is not how the world works. Yeah. I always remind my friends in 2006, there was a senator from Illinois that said gay marriage is not the right choice. And that senator from Illinois right. was Senator Barack Obama, yeah. yes. who goes on to light up the White House in 2015. Yeah. We have to be willing to accept change. That's what's so wonderful here. Uh, is the Salvation Army, the Salvation Army is the Salvation Army. In Faye's response of how I think about the bell ringing at Christmas <laughs> depends on which day of the week they're ringing the bell. But at the end of the day, if they continue to make commitment, charity and acceptance commitments like this, the LGBTQ community has so much alignment with Salvation Army and Salvation Army has so much alignment with us to help people. That's what the most important thing is. This is really an incredible story. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.